Hey, so um, this morning there was a uh, ISS pass um, overhead here um, in Terre Haute, Indiana. That's cool. And um, they were doing a question and answer um, session with the school in Maryland. So pass over us was pretty good. Um, or, or decent, I should say, as you'll see. Um, and I was over in the shack. I was near the shack, so I decided to go up in there uh, with a friend of mine. And we tried to see what we could hear. Um, so you'll notice at first, we had two radios hooked up. We were on the PS2000 at first. Um, it wasn't doing very well. That was hooked up to a vertical that's on top of our tower. And so I was kind of surprised it didn't do very well. Um, then we switched over to the uh, beam that's on the same tower, but it's, uh, well, I mean, it has a rotator, so I could spin it. And uh, that was hooked up to a little Kenwood all-mode radio. Um, so we tried that, and uh, that was working much better. We were able to spin it around with the, with the uh, rotator a bit and... Yeah, so um, I, haven't, I haven't done satellite type stuff in a little while, um, so I was kind of rusty on the, on uh, tuning it in pretty nicely. It was a little all over, all over the place, but you can see what we got. We definitely, uh, some of it was completely intelligible, and we were able to hear what the uh, astronauts were saying. So, of course, we weren't able to hear the kids in Maryland. We were way too far away for that, but it was kind of neat. We could, we could hear them, so um, I recorded it, and... Uh, Thought it'd be kind of neat to see, so I'll go ahead and switch to that here in a second, and um, yeah, it was pretty neat. Hopefully, I'll be doing it again. Um, they've done it before at Purdue, which is much closer to us, and it was even better. Um, we picked it up even better before. Don't have the tape of that, though, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and switch to that video now, and uh, enjoy. <laughs> Uh, 
ISS training to fly on the uh, ISS mission. Over.